Welcome to iBoost360. Now that you have scanned your QR code or logged in, you are now ready to start taking 360s. Press Create 360 to begin. Place your first vehicle in an area that preferably has dealership signage in the background. You will need approximately 15 clear feet on all sides of the vehicle to create the proper 360. To start creating a 360 of your first vehicle, enter the VIN number and press return on the keyboard. If you physically have the VIN barcode on hand, which can be found on the inside of the driver's door, you can also press scan to easily scan it into the VIN field. Now choose the silhouette that best represents the vehicle you will be creating a 360 of. You will be walking in a perfect circle around the vehicle for the first 16 photos. Turn your phone to the side to start shooting. Make sure the portrait orientation lock is turned off to enable the camera. It is very important to make sure all of your photos are taken from the same height. Place your vehicle inside the silhouette. Make sure the tires are aligned properly. They should be sitting right on top of the white line across your screen. The vehicle may not fit perfectly inside the silhouette because of its generic shape. However, as long as the vehicle is centered on the screen and the tires align with the white line across the bottom, your 360 spin will come out perfectly. Tap the circle on the right hand side of your screen to take a picture. You will now be able to see the picture you have just taken with and without the silhouette. Tap the silhouette icon on the top left of your screen to turn it on and off. If you aren't satisfied with the picture, press Retake. If you are satisfied with the picture, press Next. Continue to do this for all 16 points around the vehicle. After completing your 16th photo, press Next. You are now able to take photos of all the hot spots of your vehicle. There are seven different hot points you are able to take photos of. The wheels, engine, trunk, dashboard, console, odometer, and the back seat of the vehicle. You can either take a photo of each or press skip if you do not want a photo of a certain spot. Once you have completed taking a photo of the back seat, press next. You are now able to take any other additional photos that you may want. Once you have finished taking all of your photos, press finish. You will now be redirected to your vehicle inventory page. On this page, you will be able to see all of the vehicles you have created 360s of that you have not synced to your website. To review the pictures of a completed vehicle, click on the vehicle of your choice. To view your pictures individually, you are able to tap any picture to make it larger. You can look at both the 360 photos and your hotspot photos. The hotspot photos are located under the hotspots tab while the 360 photos are located under the 360's photos tab. To view the 360 of a vehicle, tap the 360 button found on the top right corner of the screen and rotate your device to the side. To activate the 360, drag your finger across the screen to see it spin at your discretion. At any point when viewing your 360, you see a photo that you would like to retake, press the retake button on your screen. This will give you the option to take a new photo using the specific angle and silhouette. After reviewing your 360 spin, you can now either sync your inventory to your website or continue creating more 360s. If you would like to sync vehicles to your website, make sure the blue circle is checked under your vehicle's VIN number. You can also uncheck the circle if you do not want to sync a particular vehicle. Now press the blue sync button found at the bottom of the page to sync all checked vehicles to your website. If you would like to continue taking pictures of vehicles, tap New 360. You will now be redirected to the page for you to enter your vehicle's VIN and the silhouette type you will be using. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, please refer to our website or contact us at support at leadboxhq.com.